So obviously one of the first things you want to do when you start learning Adobe Photoshop is to learn as many shortcuts as possible so you can make your life much easier and get to tools much, much quicker. And in this video, we're going to be learning one of the most important shortcuts that you need to know in Adobe Photoshop, which is how to use the zoom shortcuts. Cool, so the three shortcuts we're going to learn are how we can zoom into our canvas using a shortcut like this, or we can zoom out using another shortcut, or we can actually get a general overview of our entire canvas just by pressing one of the other shortcuts. So what we're going to do is start off with how we can zoom into our canvas. So it does vary slightly depending if you're on Windows or Mac. Obviously a Mac computer has the command key, whereas a Windows computer has the control key. So that's a small change that you might need to be aware of. But in order to zoom into our canvas here, what we can do is hold command on our keyboard or control for Windows, like I said, and then press the plus symbol on our keyboard. And basically every time we tap that plus symbol, we zoom in slightly to our canvas. And we can basically keep zooming in as far as we want until we see all of the pixels. In order to zoom out, it's a very, very similar process. All we have to do is press command once again. So we hold command every time we zoom in and out and we just tap the plus or minus symbol. So like I just said, it's going to be the minus symbol instead of the plus symbol this time. So if you're on Mac, once again, it's going to be command and minus. Or for Windows, it's going to be control and minus. And just every time we tap that, it's going to zoom out slightly until we can't actually see our canvas anymore. So as you can see, you can have a huge document if you really wanted, but that's probably not great for your computer. Now, in order to get a quick overview of our entire document, just so Photoshop automatically snaps to our canvas, which in other words is fit to screen, all we have to do is hold down command or control and then press the number zero. And then once you tap that, it's automatically going to fit your entire canvas to our screen. So if we're zoomed in slightly to our image, so just command and plus once again, and then press command and zero. As you can see, it just quickly snaps out so we can see an entire view of our entire canvas. So those are the three shortcuts that we definitely need to know as a beginner, but it's obviously also great to know where these tools are in case the shortcut changes in the future. So the zoom tool is actually located on the left hand toolbar next to all of our other tools. And as you can see, it's positioned just underneath the hand tool. And as you can see with the infographic, the shortcut to the zoom tool itself is Z. So anytime you press Z, that's both for Windows and Mac, it automatically takes you to the zoom tool. So just by selecting that once, as you can see at the top of our screen, the parameters have changed slightly in order to fit to our zoom tool. So we've got the plus symboled icon here, which is obviously zoom in. And then we've also got the minus one, which is currently selected, which is zoom out. So if I just quickly press on the zoom in tool, all we have to do is hold and drag using our left mouse key in order to zoom into our canvas. Then obviously we've got to go to the zoom out tool in order to zoom back out. So we can just hold and drag to the left in order to zoom out. What we can also do, like we had earlier, is actually snap our canvas to the entire screen. And in order to do that, all we have to do is press on the button that says fit screen. As you can see, it just snaps to our screen. The other option that we also have is fill screen. And this is basically going to make sure that our canvas is covering the entire screen. So you won't actually be able to see part of the canvas. So if I just quickly press that, as you can see, it does cut off slightly the top and bottom, but the width is covered. So we have something filling the entire screen. Now, one of the great thing to mention is if you do use this fit screen option and you have artboards in your project, it's actually going to get an overview of all of your artboards. So it doesn't matter which artboard you have selected, it's going to take you a view of all of your artboards together. So those essentially were the three shortcuts that you need to know as a beginner in order to use the zoom tool. If you're interested in learning more beginner shortcuts in Adobe Photoshop, then do check out the video in the top right hand corner of the end screen. Hopefully that'll be able to help you out. And also do remember to leave a like on the video if you enjoyed the content and also do subscribe to the channel to make sure you never miss a new Photoshop tutorial.